Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Boxiest, and today we're going to continue the What If series. What if events had gone differently, and in this What If, we're going to change the history of Cobra Kai. What if Sensei Kim Daun never existed during the events of Cobra Kai? So in this timeline, Sensei Kim Daun would never be born, so she would never be trained by Master Kim Sung Young. So Master Kim Sung Young would continue training his students in the way of the fist, and he would still train Kreese and Terry. Those events would carry on. Kreese and Terry would still form Cobra Kai, and the events of Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3 would still happen. And in South Korea, Master Kim Sung Young would continue training his students, but in this timeline he wouldn't have a successor. The events of Cobra Kai would still happen, and seasons 1, 2, 3, and 4 would stay the same. Eagle Fang and Miyoido would be forced to shut down. Terry Silver would still betray Kreese, Cobra Kai would continue to expand and grow, Johnny and Robbie would still go to Mexico in this timeline, Daniel and Chosen would still want to find a way to take down Terry Silver, and those events would stay the same. Eventually, Johnny and Miguel would come back to the valley, Chosen would still infiltrate Cobra Kai as a spy, but Terry Silver would still find out, so Chosen would still fight off the senseis, those events would stay the same, Silver would still want to hire more senseis, so he would get the idea to get some senseis from Master Kim's dojo. So Terry Silver would go to South Korea, and he would find out that Master Kim Sung Young was still alive. He would want to convince him to let him hire some of his senseis to help him run Cobra Kai, so that the way of the fist expanded to America and possibly the rest of the world. So Terry Silver would still hire Master Kim senseis in this timeline, and they would still go back to the U.S. And in this timeline. Terry Silver would own all of Cobra Kai, instead of just 50%. Terry Silver would still buy out Topanga Karate, so Devin would still join Cobra Kai in this timeline. Daniel and Johnny would find out that Terry Silver bought out Topanga Karate, but in this timeline, Johnny and Chosen wouldn't confront them, Miyagi Fang wouldn't go after Cobra Kai, and they would focus on their students and trying to grow Miyagi Fang. So in this timeline, Miyagi Fang would never find out about the Saikai Taikai, so only Cobra Kai would qualify for the Saikai Taikai in this timeline. The rivalry between Cobra Kai and Miyagi Fang would continue. Miyagi Fang would only focus on the valley, while Cobra Kai would want to expand worldwide. In this timeline, Terry Silver would never be exposed, and Cobra Kai would remain open. Kuris would still escape prison. Kuris would still escape the country, but he wouldn't go to Korea because he would have no one to go to, and the events of Season 6 would continue. And that is where I'm going to end this what if. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think would have happened if Sensei Kim Do never existed during the events of Cobra Kai? Let me know in the comments below. YouTube lets me know that the majority of you are not subscribed, so if you guys could subscribe, that would be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you guys next time.